Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Siobhan and I'm a second year medic studying at King's College London. And uh, I make YouTube videos, uh, videos about medical school and university and university. How to get into medical school, things like that. If you haven't checked out my channel yet, do check it out. And if you like it, hit that subscribe button and just follow me for more videos. Anyway, so today's video. Today's video is going to be about how to get into medical school in the UK as an Indian student. So this is generally applicable for any international student, but it's gonna cover a few things that are unique to being a student from India. So basically, put yourself in this position. You're a student from India, which you probably are if you're watching this video, and uh, you wanna study medicine in the UK, but you have no idea what to do. I'm gonna cover all of that for you right now. First of all, you have to consider what you're studying in school. That's the first thing. So if you wanna study medicine in the UK, you need to have completed 12th grade or 10 plus two in India. And uh, you need to have completed it from either IB and A levels, obviously those are accepted by every medical school in the UK, or you need to have done ICSC slash ISC and CBSE because these are the only two Indian boards accepted by medical schools in the UK and still they are not accepted by every medical school so you want to check out which medical schools accept them by doing some research on that. On top of that you need to get certain grades and certain scores in your 12th grade exams, 10 plus 2 exams, whatever. Uh, if you're studying an Indian board, CBSE, ISC, you need to get somewhere between 85 and 95 percent. That's usually the marks required and uh, they're usually subject requirements as well. So I forgot to mention this in the video, but you the subject requirements are that you have to take chemistry and you have to take it along with either biology, physics or maths and you can take one or two more of them and that's what you have to take. And I gave you a range because it depends on which medical school you're applying to. So you wanna go check that out as well on websites of the individual medical schools. Next, let's talk about the application timeline. So if you're applying to the UK, uh, to the UK you need to apply through this portal called UGAS. So uh, UCAS sends out its medical school applications on 15th October of each year. So that's the deadline and you need to have completed your application by 15th of October. You can either do this one year before you complete 12th grade. So basically in the middle of 12th grade or you can do it after you've taken your 12th grade exams. Whichever one you prefer, whichever one suits you best. Next, let's talk about entrance exams. So there are two entrance exams for medical school in the UK. The first one is the UCAT. This is a reasoning based exam and it's accepted by m more medical schools in the UK than the other one, around 25-ish medical schools. That's an approximate number. And yeah, like I said, it's a reasoning based exam and you have to give it somewhere between July and October because that's the testing window. The other exam is the BMAT and this one is more science based and uh, it's basically based on GCSE or 10th grade math and science. And this one has a testing date in August and one in November. And if, you're, if you wanna study at Oxbridge, which is Oxford or Cambridge, you'll want to get the one in November. These are the two entrance exams and the testing sites for both exams in most major cities in India. So you're not gonna have a problem finding a place to give these exams. And uh, if you wanna find out more about the exams in general, how to prepare, what scores you need, do check out some of the videos that I would have linked down below in the description. Talk about your personal statement. That's the next step. Your personal statement is an essay that's required if you're studying anything in the UK and definitely if you're studying medicine. So this is basically a short 4,000 characters, 650 words approximately. Uh, that length of an essay and it needs to be very concise. It needs to detail things like why you want to study medicine, your purpose, why you're a good fit for medicine and it needs to cover achievements, relevant achievements and relevant experience and it needs to be very evidence-based. 
the next step now is uh, your interviews. Your in interviews are um, a big part of your application. So once you send your application out on 15th October, now you get called for interviews. You can either get rejected or the university can choose to call you for an interview. And if you are called for an interview, um, you have to in attend an interview either in the UK or online. So in normal years, I'd say travel to the UK if you can, because it sets a good impression. And in some universities, you lose a point if you don't show up for the interview in person. But uh, if, if that's not possible, then that's okay because you can give the interviews online as well. And especially because of COVID, that has become much more possible and it's much more feasible and I'm not sure whether you lose points anymore for not showing up uh, in person. So your interviews can either be a multiple mini interview which is a station based interview which where in, you go to different stations and at each one you're assessed on a different topic, different questions or you can be assessed on practical things like role playing and problem solving sort of stations. Um, and then you could have a traditional interview as well, which is what you'd expect from a normal interview. You're sitting across from two interviewers and two to three, I don't know how many, it depends on the university. And they just ask you general questions like why do you want to study medicine, relevant experience, skills, things like that. And then after you give your interviews, basically the medical school decides whether they want to make you an offer or not. And if they make you an offer, if you completed 12th grade, you would have already met that offer. So they'll basically decide whether they want to take you or not. But if you've not completed and you've applied with your predicted grades, then uh, you basically get a conditional offer. And because of that, you have to meet whatever grades they outline for you in your 12th grade exams. So that basically covers all the standard things. Now let me discuss a few things that are very unique for Indian applicants. So the big one, that's the NEET. So the NEET is the National Entrance Gum Eligibility Test. And that's the entrance exam for all medical schools in India. And basically it's hard to understand what the situation is with this, but basically a few years ago, the Medical Council of India outlined that you have to take the NEET if you want to study medicine abroad as well but there's a fine print in that there's you have to take it if you want to study abroad and you want to come back to practice in India because basically after taking the need you get an eligibility certificate before you from the MCI before you leave India and that eligibility certificate has to be presented back to the MCI when you're when you return to India for your screening test so that's why you have to take the need because get that eligibility certificate you need to take the need so uh, if you want to study abroad but practice in India you have to take the need and you have to score above the 50th percentile on it lastly the last step is the IELTS so um, you have to take some sort of English qualification present some sort of English language qualification if you are coming to study in the UK and you're not from a native English speaking country and India is obviously not a native English speaking country so you have to present some sort of English language qualification and if you've studied in IB or I think A levels too and you've taken English and you've scored a certain grade in English there which is 5 for IB then you don't have to worry about uh, presenting any sort of English language qualification you're fine but if you're studying in CBSE, ISC or any other sort of curriculum, then you do need to present an English language qualification separate to your school marks. And that is um, going to be the IELTS, which is an English language proficiency test. I don't know what it stands for, but I'll put it up here. And uh, you need to take that and you need to get a certain score in it, which from what I've heard, it isn't too hard if you normally speak in English, like, you know, and uh, you need to take that and then that'll be your English language proficiency requirement met. And you need to meet that requirement for to meet your offer at the university and to uh, get your visa to study in the UK. 
So um, I think that covers everything, everything you need to know if you're a medical student in India who wants to study in the UK. That is, I think, A to Z, everything. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. But otherwise, I hope this video was helpful. And if you liked it, do drop a like down below and uh, hit that subscribe button and leave any other comments you want and share this video with other people who might need it. But till then, I'll see you in the next one.